and we look for ways to motivate ourselves. We look for these signs, this litmus test of a good idea. And I know you can identify with this. It's something called the emotional buzz. And the emotional buzz is this. A thought creates a physical reaction. A thought of marching in the opening ceremonies of the Olympic Games gave a physical reaction. It's like, oh, I'd love to do that. You know when you just feel it up and down your spine, the pit of your stomach's like, oh, I'd love to do that. Right now, get a thought of what you want to create, what you want to build, what you want to be a part of, the friends you want to make, the family you want to be a part of, the family you want to create, the difference in other people's lives. Now, as you instill that, put your hands together. And as you start to, go ahead, and start, put your hands together, start to feel that, rub your hands together, wiggle your butt and go, ooh, I would love to do that. If you're not wiggling your ear, you're not getting the full effect, if you know what I mean. It's that emotional buzz. It's that thought of, oh, I would love to do that. Because if this idea, whatever idea you have, could be saying, well, I want to hit this number, I want to hit this, if it doesn't have an emotional buzz attached to it, find something that has that emotional quotient, something that lights you up. Because when it does, it's a litmus test for a great idea. Not a good idea, a great idea, when it has an emotional buzz. Demonstrate the emotional buzz. You know, I was at the dentist one day, and the dentist had this fish tank, and I thought, you know, I want me one of those. Yellow Pages, Dallas North Aquarium, largest ad. Call up the phone, the owner of the company, John Holcomb, answers the phone. He says something about saltwater fish. This is exactly what you'll hear. Oh, you're going to love these fish. <laughs> I'm thinking, get a life, pal. It's just sushi swimming around, really. He said, why don't you meet me at the store? I said, well, okay. So you meet John Holcomb at the store. This guy is literally shaken. You're the guy about the saltwater fish. Follow me! So he takes you over this tank, up to the first tank, and there's all sorts of fish in there. He says, yellow tang fish. A lot of people get those. They're the Percula clownfish. That's Nemo, by the way, very popular. But my favorite fish is the flame hawk fish. You see, it's a very curious fish, and it's following his finger around. He says, isn't this cool? I said, it kind of is. He says, that is the best part. I said, what is? He goes, follow me! <laughs> He said, live coral. We ship in live coral. Not only to create your own personality of your own tank, you create your own ecosystem. I went, really? He goes, yeah. I said, I love this. And he said, well, great. Do you have American Express? <laughs> Green flag. A buying signal. I walked out of there having purchased a three thousand dollar fish tank. And I am that close to telling my wife. <laughs> yeah. John Holcomb had an emotional buzz about fish, about fish. How random is that? What if, we, what if this was everywhere? What if every product or service we ever engaged in had somebody purveying that with that same emotional buzz? I mean, anywhere. I mean, the grocery store, you go walking up and down the aisles, or a hardware store, you go say, hey, you know where the ranches, wrenches are to a guy stocking the shelves? What if the kid looked at you and went, wrenches aisle four, follow me, let's go, come on. <laughs> the ratio between the conscious and subconscious mind is the exact same ratio between an ant and an elephant. The ant is the conscious mind, the elephant is the subconscious mind. And the ant right now is making decisions all day long. This is what I want to do. I want to go west and starts walking west on the back of the elephant. What if the elephant is headed east? Which way is the ant really going? East. And it's human nature. The conscious mind, I want to go on a diet. Subconscious mind, I don't think so. <laughs> Not without those venti, triple latte, whatever things. How powerful would it be if your ant and elephant headed in the same direction? That alignment leading into the agility to be so flexible at speed to adapt with that emotional buzz. It's so much easier. Instead of fighting against you, you literally engage, leverage, use it to your advantage, and a great outcome. Be able to look at that and creating that alignment happened through something called gold dots. This is a technique 
that I utilize, and gold because it typically stands out. Now, the gold dot was representative of something like that gold medal. It was representative of that thing, that was being able to have something that triggers a goal. Not just a goal. You could say, well, it's an affirmation. No, it's not just an affirmation. It's an emotional buzz. And the emotional buzz is this. Seeing that gold dot, it was like, I'm the fastest speed skier in Canada, top 10 in the world. It was like, oh, I would love to do that. Every time you see a gold dot, I'm the fastest speed skier in Canada, top 10 in the world. You see on the middle of the Sparta sign over there, I'm the fastest speed skier in Canada, top 10 in the world. Open your wallet to pay for something. Oh, I'm the fastest speed skier in Canada, top 10 in the world. The magic about this is when you see that gold dot, it creates that emotional buzz. 2,000 neurons and 4 billion neurons slap into direction. It's like, oh, I would love to have that. Oh, I would love that. It'd be like Kramer walking down the street. I would love. <laughs> Yeah. When you've got that gold dot, the gold dot ha can't be a goal. It can't be, uh, it can't be an affirmation. It has to be something that elicits a, an emotional buzz where you just see it. You go, oh, I'd love to have that.